This is Ricky, and Ricky was found near the stadium when he was about, how old were you, little man? About five months old. And he'd been hit by a car, and this leg, that's now no longer here, was completely twisted. And it was causing this leg, then he was like crawling along on the front legs. He was pretty wild, he was difficult to catch. And I finally caught him and took him straight to the vet, and that day he, his leg was amputated. And he's slowly, slowly getting used to people. He was extremely scared. It took a long time for this to heal because I couldn't keep him still. This, this guy like runs around on three legs like he was born with three legs. Hi, uh, my name's Tamara I'm from Australia. And I quit my job teaching to come to Thailand to save the lives of dogs and to give them a better chance. I see um, a lot of abuse with dogs here um, you might not like the dog or you don't but you don't need to hurt it and I want to try and change that and I know I can't come in here as a foreigner and change everything but I want to try and educate people and you know the dogs many Thai dogs are not aggressive I mean they're loving dogs they just they they become they appear to be aggressive because that's their way of defending themselves The aim is to sterilize and vaccinate as many dogs as I can. We need to stop the cycle and at the same time stop the suffering. And I also obviously feed a certain amount of dogs every day on the street and then within my foster home. So those dogs that aren't safe, I, have, I remove them from the streets. The whole idea is to rehabilitate those dogs and then get them adopted. I'm just trying to help as many as I can, but I know I can't help them all. Mm. And it's heartbreaking to drive past dogs that I can't, but the more funds that I receive, the more support with volunteers, the, and the more adopters, the more dogs I can help. But right now I'm totally over capacity. Can't you hear me, mama call? Can't you hear me crawling? Can't you hear me when I call? I'm a long way from sight. Can't you see me, baby, fly? Can't you see me falling? Can't you hear me when I call? Can't you see me fall? My name is Joe Kavanaugh, 22 years old, from Des Moines, Iowa, <laughs> United States. I've been here for two months so far, two months and two days now. I really love dogs. I love all animals, but I love dogs the most. If I'm going to travel, I have to do it in a way where I'm giving back. Like I can, you know, just travel and go everywhere and spend all my money. Like, have to do it in a way where I'm helping others and volunteering and giving back, so. This is uh, one of our two foster homes here. Um, we have 35 dogs, eight puppies, and uh, three cats here. Um, at the moment, we are uh, five volunteers in here and uh, two Thai ladies uh, working here. Prepare the dog food in here. Uh, the dogs get rice and meat twice a day. So we have to um, cook huge amounts of rice, as you see. And um, then we cook the meat of the bear and then we just mix it and give it to them, the bones. We have to separate them in small groups, so uh, dogs that get along with each other and don't fight at feeding time. So some are outside, some are in the house, some are in the toilet, so there's uh, not too much trouble. They still are searching for a home. <laughs> Very curious. Oh, yeah. 
cats over there is the other one and um, this is also a volunteer's room so this is my room where we stay the rooms in here are very basic we only have a mattress and a fan but I'm fine with it it's enough for me to live so here we have Dam, Yak, Annie, Bruce hiding underneath Tong Dang, Decker, Baloo running through Shay, Ashley underneath Dingo, Evie, Cyrus then we have Bodhi underneath here we have little Winston <laughs> Willie on the lap uh, we have beautiful Trixie, Alex Carter, over there we have Bert and then the table we have the beautiful brother and sister Pax and Nadia I'm Sophie, um, I've been in Thailand for about nine months volunteering with dogs and elephants. There's dogs in the streets everywhere, hungry, getting hit by cars, but also there's big issues of people abusing the dogs, um, where people take knives and machetes to the dogs or purposefully hit them with their cars. Um, and when I found out about just a few of those stories, um, <laughs> I knew I wanted to come and do some volunteering with them. Uh, the main difficulties would be dealing with at least 35 different personalities of street dogs. They don't all get along. Um, they can all fight. You have to make sure you keep them separated, you keep them happy. But the amazing part is that even though they've had all these horrible experiences, they've been abused, they've been dumped on the streets, you give them a little bit of love, and the love you get in return is so much more. <laughs> Can't you hear me, Mama call? Can't you hear me crawling? Can't you hear me, Mama call? Can't you hear me trying? Can't you hear me when I call? I'm a long way from sight Can't you see me baby fly? Can't you see me falling? Can't you hear me when I call? Can't you see me fall? This is Chai Yen. This is a street dog that um, I received a message about last night. I was in bed and they thought he had eaten poison. So I, I rushed down there and we induced vomiting. Uh, I called my vet and she was amazing. She t um, so told me what to do. I put some saline to him through a drip and then we put him in a cage for the night. But throughout the night he seized three times, had three seizures. And this morning when I went to get him, he'd broken out of the cage, but we found him two streets away. We've ruled out distemper and kidney failure, so now treating him for septicemia. I mean, there's a lot of wounds here, clearly from his skin condition. If you'd like to help, there's a few different ways that you can help. One way is to donate, and all donations go towards feeding dogs, medicating, vaccinating, sterilizing. You can also volunteer with us. You can come to Song Kla and spend some time hands on with the dogs and get a real life experience. And another way is to adopt a dog. We send dogs to America, Canada, Europe. And every time a dog's adopted, it opens another space for another dog. Without your support, I can't do what I'm doing, so it means a lot to me. Thank you.